Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147. And today I thought I'd take you through a little walk through my diamond painting cart. So this little cart sits by me on the couch, sits over here, um, and it holds sort of my many of my go-to items for when I'm diamond painting. I do highly recommend that everybody has, or if you can, you have something. It could just be a plastic tub. It could just be a, a little pencil case. A Tupperware tub will do it. A little bag. Something to have your sort of go-to items ready. But I thought I'd walk you through what my sort of go-to items are. So this cart is the mini cart from Ikea. It's the Rasholt. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's not the Rascog, the bigger one, it's the smaller one that I have. And I do have the top. So this is the sort of, it's classed as a chopping board, but they do make two of them, one to fit each cart. And I have the one that fits the little one. Have my little coaster on the top because that's where my brew lives. Now inside the top section, this isn't as easily accessible. There's normally stuff on the top, including a brew. So in here, I tend to have a, a couple of my to-do list books for filming. And I have um, my cart, my, sorry, my tablet for when I do my heaven and earth design chart. They sort of live in there um, when they're not in use. Of course, when I'm in the middle of a to-do list, it's normally on the top but they live in there. Then I have my sort of key section of the cart. I have a little bin. These are again from Ikea, 50p I think they are. Little tubs that sit on the side of bars. It's in the kitchen section as well, but I use that as a little bin. Any stray diamonds, any packets from diamonds, any bag of crisps that I may have munched on, that sort of thing goes in there. And then in the actual cart section itself, so I do have all my trays, of which I do have a few. There are a couple of the older varieties of trays, as well as some of the newer ones. Uh, this is just a hard drive. This is where I back up my videos to. So that tends to be here because I'm normally sat on the couch when I'm sorting out videos. And then I do also have another little pot. Oh, and on the top also goes my passport holder that holds my cover sheets. That just sits on the top of my hard drive. But this is my main sort of little pot. I have trays that are floating about. I have pens that I might be using at the moment. A pair of tweezers. My pretty placer, which I use with AB diamonds because I use glue dots in my pens and sometimes they're a bit too sticky for the AB coating. I do still have a couple of pots of wax. I have a few of the clips that hold my diamond painting onto my light pad. Two of them are in use, but I do tend to have a couple more floating about. I have a little white tray. This is because if I'm ever working with the likes of a special diamond painting that has some bigger diamonds, then these trays are sort of ideal to let them sit in. And then I have some Evermoment baggies. Again, mainly if I'm working on a special diamond painting, I tend to do them by colour. So, or number, so I'll do number one, then number two, number three, and so on. So the extras that are left over go in those bags until I get to put them away. Pair of scissors. There's normally a normal pen in there as well. You know, mama needs a pen. Uh, washi tape. All those sorts of things sit in this little pot that then sits inside the cart. As just, it just contains the smaller items, really. I then have some diamonds on the side. So these are actually my extras for Mr. Quackers. Mr. Charlie Quackers, as I like to call him. 
Um, they are the extra diamonds for that apart from the white because there is a lot of white but that's the extra diamonds for them and that's why I like these book rings they can sort of hang off either side and then if I move the bin the bottom one is normally mainly my diamonds for whatever paintings I've got on the go so I currently have a 42 case that I'm working on. I then have extras for that. So that's the Wisdom Fox that I'm working on. Um, so that's the diamonds for that. I then have the diamonds for Mr. Quackers. I then also have packets of extras. These are for the Minions painting, so they're the extras for that. Bit too many to put on a book ring. Would possibly work but would also take a lot more room than that little one does. And then this is the white for Mr. Quackers. As you can tell, there is a lot of white. There is one that looks to have opened up inside the bag, but I've not quite been in the right frame of mind for dealing with that yet. So for now, they're just collecting in there until I'm in the mood, but they are all white. So I don't so much mind that, that one of the bags, I've probably just rough handled it a bit too much and it's opened up. So all my diamond slash spares tend to sit in the bottom and I do also have my glue dots in there. I seem to have become more of a fan of the micro dots than the mini dots. They seem to be the ones I favour. Um, when I put new ones into a pen, I tend to put two in a new pen, but then after maybe an hour or so of diamond painting, I need to top it up because it's squashed itself inside. Um, so I like to have those handy. And that is sort of what I keep to hand. I need my pen, I need my tray. Pretty placer, I can sometimes need cover sheets. I'll be putting them away as I work on a painting. And I've got trays to hand so I can pick which one suits whatever colour I'm working on. And of course, my little rubbish bin but they're my go-to items i'm sure other people have different go-to items do please let me know what your good go-to's are down below maybe there's something i need to get or add to my cart um but just to note this is only for when i'm actually diamond painting this is not my kitting up or my kitting down cart all that stuff tends to go into my craft room. But this is, you know, my just, yeah, it's just my go-to. It's the stuff that I need and don't want to have to get up to get because all of a sudden I'm placing ABs and need my pretty placer. Things like that. So let me know what your go-to items are in the comments down below. And if you haven't got yourself a little diamond painting corral of items um, then I do highly recommend getting one say whether it just be the likes of this small basket or whether it be something bigger like a full cart is completely up to you and your space but I highly recommend collecting it all together in one place so I hope this has been helpful thank you as always so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.